hey, hey! Mr. Wara here. Who'd you expect? The Ghostbusters? Come on, people! This is math time! <laughs> That's right, my friends. Oh my goodness, and it's gonna be a pretty challenging math time, I might add. Look at what we have here. Algebra! Ooh, it's that Arabic word. It is. Algebra comes from Arabic. Well, it's lesson 2.12. Lesson 2.12, this is the last lesson before we get to the review videos. This looks like a mega, mega lesson, okay? So I really want to recommend, that's right, buckle your seatbelts, put on your bicycle helmet. That's right, this ride could get very, very bumpy, okay? So let's make sure we're ready to go. The topic says, solve multi-step problems using equations. Remember how I said we weren't going to use number sentence? There you go. You guys, it's all about equations, which is just a number sentence, as I just stated. But we're going to be doing multi-step problems. Okay, essential question. This is what it's going to be. Our learning target, our purpose here says that how can you represent and solve multi-step problems using equations? That's right. So this is going to be a mega lesson, like I said. Let's get going. But first, we must... Unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because you know it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay. Now it says uh, Chris Mara's, Chris Mari, Chris Mari's computer has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space each and two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space each. The files on her computer use 78 gigabytes of space. This is hilarious. How much hard drive space does your computer have left? No, I just, I love this problem because I'm thinking, you know what? I'm so old. How old are you, Mr. Warren? You know what? I am so old that I remember seeing George Washington as he passed the White House. <laughs> yeah, right. But I'm telling you, we wouldn't have had a problem like this because when I was a kid, there were no computers. So can you imagine how old I am? Yep, I'm getting up there. I'm pretty old. I'm up there. I'm telling you. Now. Unlike George Washington, though, I will say one thing. I still have my own teeth, which is kind of nice. I'm not that old. However, George Washington, you know, he had those wooden dentures, which was pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, or wooden false teeth, if you want to call them that. Now, it says underline the important information. Okay, so it looks like there's a, little bit, a lot of important information here. Well, first of all, something important to me here is, is that uh, Chris Mari's computer has three hard drives, okay, with 64 gigabytes of space. All right, and two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space. So both of these, these seem important because she's got, it looks like a total of five hard drives, okay? And I'm just gonna write this down for my own understanding. Five hard drives all together, okay? But she has some hard drives that have more gigabytes of space for memory. Could be RAM, but basically 64 gigabytes is a lot better than 16. The files on her computer says use 78 gigabytes of space. So all the stuff that she's saving, for those people who are not really computer savvy so much, like me, uh, you know that she can have, it says it's using 78. How much, how much hard drive space does her computer have left? And key words here, letting me know, yeah, I'm thinking subtraction now at this point because how many gigabytes does she have left? She's using 78 and then she has that. Now I'm assuming they're talking about, it says her computer, this is interesting here. She had three hard drives of space. And normally, you know, each computer would have one hard drive. So I don't know the different hard drives that she has on her computer. But so I'm just going to understand. It says, that's her computer. So these, all these hard drives are, I guess, on one computer because this is singular here. Okay. So like I said, I'm not going to try to speed through this particular lesson because I think this one's going to be a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to try and make the effort to speak slower slower mr wara because i really want to make sure that you guys uh understand this so one way use multiple single step equations okay single step so we're going to be doing single step equations now it says step one find how much hard drive space is on three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space each so if you recall from the problem it said that she had three hard drives and each with 64 gigabytes. So what they did here in our model is, and it's a great, great model. So I think of this as a tape diagram, it's another math program that uses that, but I like the tape diagram is what we called it. The tape diagram shows this, or you want to say an area model too, I suppose. But here we have, or actually, you know what, this is a bar model. That's probably what they call it here. So anyways, here are three hard drives with 64 gigabytes. 
So we have 64, 64, 64. And I can see that they're showing that each one. So it's like the 64 right here is kind of acting as like an add-in. Add-in. I think that's how you spell that. Okay. It's like an add-in. 64 plus 64 plus 64. And then here we have the total space on three hard drives with 64 gigabytes. They're making that our N. And our N is just are unknown. We don't know what it is. So if we were to take three of those, multiply it by 64, that's going to give us our n. So let's go ahead and do the work. 64 times 3. Super easy, right? 12. Got to regroup. Carry the 1 into the tens place. Now we have 18 tens plus 1, 19 tens, or 192. Cool. So that was one step that we took, one single step. Now we're going to do another one. Step 2 says find how much hard drive space is on two hard drives with the 16 gigabytes of space. Just like this problem up here, we're doing the same kind of thing except we have different numbers. So 16 and 16, because that's what we have, we have two of them, they've just changed the variable. The letter does not matter. Whatever variable you, you use, the letter makes no difference. So doubling 16, well that's really easy, that's just 32, if you know your doubles pretty well, but you can also show your work. Okay, now we have 32 gigabytes for these two hard drives total. We have 192 gigabytes total for those three hard drives over here. So step three says find the total hard drive space on the computer. Okay, so total space on 64 gigabytes hard drives altogether. We have that 192, I can see it there. It says total space on 16 gigabytes hard drives is 32. And of course the A is our variable, which is gonna represent the total space that's on the computer. Because this is what we're saying, with all these hard drives together, it's gonna let what the total space is. And we just need to add those numbers together. Well, 192 plus 32, that's all we're doing is add those together. This is our third step when you think about it too. 12 carry the one, 224 gigabytes of hard drive space on the computer. That's the total space. Now step four says the files use 78 gigabytes of space find how much hard drive space the computer has left. And this is when we're getting into our subtraction problem. When we look at this here, this model is kind of interesting. They show 224 here, and it's showing our total, because that's the total of the hard drive space on the computer. This is the space that's used. That's why they're showing the 78. And of course, the space that's left, we don't know what that is yet, but that's our Y, and that's just our variable. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead, or we're going to take 224, then and just sub sub subtract 78. We have an issue here because of regrouping, both in the ones place and the tens. We have to go all the way to the hundreds. Take 100 from there, give those 10 tens to this guy here, but he's gonna loan one of his tens, one 10 to him. So now he has 10 ones with his four ones, his 14 ones. 14 ones minus eight is six ones. And then 11 tens uh, minus seven tens is equal to four tens. And then we end up with a 100 there, which means that the space that's left on that computer is 146 right here, 146 gigabytes of hard drive space left on our computer. Seems like, an, um, seems like an awful lot, doesn't it? Because the total was 224. So yeah, barely used maybe 20, 25% of her space on the computer. Cool, let's go to the next problem. Now we're getting something called order of operations. It says the order of operations is a special set of rules that gives the order in which calculations are done in an expression. First, we multiply and divide from left to right, then we add and subtract from left to right. Okay, and you guys may be familiar with, most people just say it is PEMDAS. Now, I don't hear too many people say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but whatever works for you, okay? But parentheses and exponents actually take place before multiply and divide, but I don't know, you're probably not doing that maybe in fourth grade yet, so maybe you could ignore that. But multiply and divide, they're like a tie, and then add and subtract. It's a tie. The reason why I say it's a tie is because like they say here, we multiply and divide, but from left to right. What that means is you can divide before you multiply if in the problem division comes first. So when you're going from left to right, and if you come up to division, then you need to do division first. Okay, so multiply and divide, it's a tie. One doesn't get one priority. I have students that always struggle, they forget that. Same with adding and subtracting. It's so always from left to right. Another way, it says use one multi-step equation. Now let's take a look at our model here. How do they have this set up? Okay, they're showing the 64, 64, and 64, 64 gigabytes. There's three of them. They have to all be the same size. If we say that 64 is this unit space in here, then we wanna make sure that we draw our model the same size. So each one of these rectangles is the same size. Of course, 16 is less than 64. That's why those squares look kinda small, okay? But they need to be the same size too. 
relative to our model, so it kind of makes some sense. And then here it says this is a space used, since we know that 64 went up to here, 78, that seems like a pretty accurate model. And then the N here, which was the key what we were trying to find out in the problem, is what's left. And you can see this all was left, and it's showing the line here coming all the way up to here. So this is a total space right here. Okay, this is a total. We're subtracting the space used here, and then this is going to give us our answer of how much is left. Okay, this is why air models are great because they they give you a visual, a visual, which is something that is very helpful in math when you do a visual model. Over here, now we have the equation written out the whole thing. The three times 64 was the three hard drives with 64 gigabytes. Remember, plus, but they put the plus in there because we're doing another kind of expression, and that is is that we had two hard drives that had 16 gigabytes. So that's been put there. But remember, we're subtracting, that's right, the 78 gigabytes that was used. That should give us our answer. So, wow, look at this work here. So we're going to be doing multiplying and dividing first from left to right, and then add and subtract from left to right. You can see we're kind of lucky the very first term here is multiplying. So our 3 times 64, if you recall what that was, I do, was 192. So I'm not going to figure that out again because we know what that answer was. Yeah, I was trying to figure out these blanks sometimes. I'm like, what? Okay, normally I would just write it out. So they just wanted us to, to do the first one. Don't do the second one right away. And then we have minus 78. Now I have my 192 plus my 32 minus 78. Now I'm going to add those together. And I think we figured that was 224 minus 78. And we ended up with an answer of 146, if you recall. I remember that number. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. I hope that made some sense there. So we multiplied. You know, there's nothing wrong too if you want to put parentheses around those so that you know that you have to do those first two. And that would mean the same thing. Sometimes, remember, that's the associative property. You put those two terms, those terms together like that. Okay. Now we're at Sharon's show. Woohoo! Math board time. Get the math boards. Math boards here. Okay. Go ahead and pull that math board out. We have some fun. It says, use the order of operations to find the value of n. Okay, the order of operations. So they're kind of, they're putting two big pieces here, I think, in this particular lesson. One was just showing that multi-step problem, but also you're learning a lot about the order of operations. So here you can see these two are being multiplied, but we don't add the 17 and the 5 together like that. No, 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 we don't do that. We have to multiply and figure that out first. And adding and subtracting comes later. So 5 times 17, first multiply 5 times 17, which I'm going to have to do over here. 17 times 5 is 5, carry the 3. This is multiplied by the way. It's 5, and then we end up 85. Okay, so I'm going to put here 85, and, I, and then I have plus. Okay, so we're going to put 5 times 20 in here, minus 32. Okay, so we, we, we resolve this one right here. So now that's kind of gone, okay? Now we come down and we put our 85 down again. It's important to do these steps here. 5 times 20 is, uh, is 100 because there are that many um, groups of 20 in 100. Okay, minus, and then we have 32. Okay, well, I almost thought I wrote that wrong, but then I realized it's over here. Okay, and then now I have 85 plus 100, which is 185. I'm going to be subtracting 32. And then, of course, it says, finally, we're going to subtract to find n. So if I take that, I'm going to just do this in my head. 5 is in the 1's place. 2 is in the 1's place. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Have you ever done this before? 8 is in 10's place. 3 is in 10's place. So 8 minus 3 is 5. And just like that, we get 153. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, looks like I'm in the last section here. It says, find the value of n. Ooh, now they're just giving us the whole thing. We have to do this all on our own. Well, again, I'm going to multiply before I divide from left to right. I should say multiply and divide before I add and subtract. That's how I would always say that so you don't get confused. So make sure that I add, multiply and divide before I add and subtract. That's the order. So 22 times 3, that's just 66. That's kind of a given there. 66 plus, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this right now. Save me one step. That's 7 times 1 is 7, and then I get 28. So that should be just like so, 287 minus 24 equals n. And now I have 287. Okay, I don't think I want to kind of try to do this in my head. So let me just do 287 plus 66, 13, 14, 15, carry the 1, 353 minus 24 
equal to n. And now I can just put that right down below where I already have my 353. I'm going to subtract that. I'm going to need to regroup. I get 9 plus 4 is 13. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then, of course, I get my 3. 329 is what I get is my answer here. I always like to circle that, make it easy for my teacher to see the answers. And I think I'm happy with that one. Let's come over here to number three. Uh, again, I've been underlining these. There's another thing you could do. Since you can see that you need to multiply, you could always do this too. That's fine. Doesn't change the, the problem at all. Might make it a little bit more, I don't know, focus organized for you. Okay, well, I'm going to do my work over here. So I have 34 times 4. 34 times 4 is 16, 12, 136. I'll sneak that in there. Plus, oh, these are nice because it's just a simple fact. 6 times 4 is 24. And my 1 power of 10 minus 66 equals n. Woohoo! Now I'm just going to add on my 240 to my 136. And it looks like it's 6. Ooh, they're not lined up very well. Hey, you don't want to do that. See that? That's why it's really, really good if you use uh, grid paper. Avoid that. And then I'm going to subtract 66. I 0, 1, 310. Cool. And I circled that circled the answer okay now what i think i'm gonna do for these next ones is i'm gonna go ahead and figure them out i would actually encourage you just to shut the video off and just try these on your own i'll show all my work okay and then that way you can see it and you look at the answers and then from there you know you'll have it okay kind of uh, help you out there. I kind of put all my work on the page there so you can see what I did. Very similar to what we did in two and three. I just did that to kind of speed up the video a little bit. Hoping, hoping that my work there will answer any questions you may have. Oh, my friends, well, this ends another video. This ends chapter two. Look for the review videos, my friends, okay? Live long and prosper.